have to make sure that you have a status column and then you click on automate over here and I'm going to click on add new automation and I can do when status changes to something. So I will say when my status changes to working on it, then and I'm just going to search for um, time tracking. I'm going to hit start time tracking and I have to just choose the time tracking column. So anytime I change my status to working on it, it's going to start the time tracking column. Now I'm going to add a new one to stop it. So when status changes to something, so when my status changes to task on hold, because let's say I'm stopping the task. So then I want to stop time tracking. Okay, so I'm just going to choose my column. And now also I want to add, I'm just going to duplicate this because what I also want to add if you are done, so that should also stop the time tracking column. So now we have these automations. Obviously, if you need more statuses, um, you know, like if you're waiting for a client, you can add that this into it. But whatever statuses you need, you just need to make the automations.